So I get bored pretty often lately and I don't know what to do and I end up spending all day in my room doing nothing and I wanted to change that. So I made a list with a few things that I want to try out, some creative things. So maybe some of the things will help you get out of your bed and do something creative so you're not bored all day. I hope you can get some inspiration from this video. So I've been seeing a lot of air dry clay videos on TikTok lately, so I went to the store and bought some with my sister. I used the back of my mirror as a work surface so my desk wouldn't get dirty. I decided to make a mushroom jewelry holder because I think they look super cute. And I started with the bottom and then I did the middle part and then the top. But I realized that it may be smarter to do the middle part and the top all in one and not separately because it's easier to put them together. After you're done with making the mushroom, you're gonna take a small straw and you're gonna punch some holes in the mushroom top part because that's where you're gonna hang all the earrings. After you're done with the mushroom, you have to let it dry for a couple of days but when I looked at it the next day, it had this crack in it and I tried to fix it but the next day it had a crack in it again and I fixed it again and I also made this little frog in a pond and then I started painting. Before you start painting, use some sandpaper and make the edges less sharp. I started painting the top part and if you use clay that has a little bit of a darker color, you have to do at least two layers of the color. If you don't know what you want your mushroom to look like, you can go on Pinterest and you'll find a lot of examples on how you can decorate your mushroom. After I was done with painting and it was dry, I took my earrings and put them all on the mushrooms in the little holes. I have to say I absolutely love the way it turned out and I just think it looks really cute. And then I also painted my frog in the pond and put all of my necklaces in it. I think we've all seen these beaded daisy chains before and they're actually super easy to make so I'm going to show you how to make them. You're gonna need elastic string and beads and a needle to make the little flowers and you're gonna pick three different colors. I'm not really good at explaining so here's the tutorial on the side so you can just pause the video and look at the image. While I'm doing this I like to watch a TV show or YouTube. How's Haley doing? She's loving it. She's loving it. I used seven red beads for the flower, one dark bead for the middle of the flower and 14 white beads. And then you just keep going until it fits around your wrist or your neck. As you can see, I chose the colors so they would match my mushroom top and I really liked the way it turned out. At the end, you just make a knot with both ends, then cut the ends off and you can also do a ring like this just using flowers. Something I always wanted to do is a flower crown and I met up with my friend and we made some sushi and then we went for a walk to collect some flowers and the weather was just perfect and I realized just by spending time outside, I got so much happier that day. It was a little bit hard to show on camera how to make those flower crowns. So here's the tutorial on the side. And it's also pretty easy, you just have to try it a few times. 
When it's long enough to put it around your head, you make a knot with a strong flower at the end and then you can wear it. It's 10 p.m. and I'm bored, so I'm gonna paint my mirror now and I'm gonna regret this because I can't finish it until tomorrow and then I'm gonna stay up all night because I want to finish it today. Maybe? Let's do it anyways. I'm a professional now, I have a ring light and I already broke it. <laughs> I decided to paint a mushroom on my mirror because it matches my jewelry holder, which you saw me making earlier. I got this far today, but I don't think I'll finish it today because now I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. So see you tomorrow. Good morning. So after I woke up, I continued painting and I just put some leaves on the sides of the mirror and I love it. Another thing that I love doing is pressing flowers because they just look so pretty and you can use them as decoration. So you just put them between paper and put some books on top so there is something heavy on them and then you have to leave them there for I think at least a week and the more the better and then you have to wait and after they're dry you can use them as decorations and I will show you how to make flower candles and flower stickers later on in the video a while ago I saw on TikTok a girl making her own stickers and I can't find the video anymore but I still know how it works so I wanted to try it so I went on Pinterest and looked for some images I wanted to have as a sticker and I chose those flower fairies because I just think they're really pretty. Here's me struggling with my glasses, it's always the same struggle. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna cut out your images and then you're gonna need baking paper and some tape. And you're gonna place all of the images on your baking paper. And then you're gonna put the tape on top and cut your images with the tape and the baking paper. The tape might not stick to the baking paper at the beginning, so you just have to press it on there a couple of times. It was a little bit difficult at first because the paper underneath the tape would always change their position but then I found different techniques so you put the paper on the tape first and then you put it on the baking paper and that was just a lot easier. I really like the flower fairy stickers and I also decided to make some stickers with real flowers and it works the same way as with the paper. I always wanted to learn how to crochet so I wanted to start with something simple so I looked up a simple tutorial for a top on YouTube. It's really fun and you can just watch a TV show at the same time. How does he have time to do all that? He's got divorced and his whole life opened up. The guy's living the dream. I switched colors a few times because I wanted to make it more interesting. And I'll put the link to the tutorial in the description box so you can try it as well. Also, there are so many different tutorials on YouTube on how to crochet, so there is definitely going to be something for everyone. And I would just recommend starting with something simple and then you can try the more difficult things. By the way, if you are wondering what's on my arm, that's a tattoo a kid gave me. I have to say I'm really proud of the way this top turned out. I think it's so pretty. And I also just really like the colors, so I decided to also make some jewelry matching to it. Now we're going to need our pressed flowers again. 
and I went on a walk and collected some more. And of course, we also need some candles. So you're going to need pressed flowers, your candle and then a smaller candle and some brushes. And then you're going to put your flower on your candle. And you're going to use the wax of the other candle to make the flower stick on your candle. I broke a plate and my mom's not happy about it. My finger wasn't happy about it as well. But I didn't want to throw it away so I decided to paint something on it. And I first used sandpaper to make the ends less sharp. And then I grabbed my painting stuff and started painting. And of course we're going to do a mushroom again. <laughs> I just looked at some pictures on Pinterest for inspiration and then I also decided to do a frog as well because I just think frogs are really cute and they match my aesthetic. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and you got some inspiration and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! Oh and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I think I have about, I don't know but over a thousand subscribers which is a lot to me thank you so much and i think my first video has over 30,000 views which is crazy oh and someone said they want me to do a day in my life video like a vlog type of video and if you have any suggestions for a new video feel free to put them in the comments and i'll try to make a video of it